video link up requested. Connection established. Marine, I can't believe you're still alive. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job, and good luck, Marine. any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. The UAC is here to help you. Psychological services are free and confidential.
gotta get to Bravo team quickly. I need all the firepower they can get. Sending that transmission is critical to our survival. understand, Dr. Petruger. No, I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Formerly designated by the Union Aerospace Off-World Research Stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. <coughs> Surprised us. They just came out of nowhere. Access denied.
Our team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp. Access to the systems. We can't do it here. We'll have to access the system somewhere else. All right, let's go. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, October 20th, 41 
It has come to my attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel throughout the base. My office has received four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone, mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security, and they have promised to initiate an investigation. But this news is very disturbing, especially at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing personnel. This is Paul Simon, security specialist in IT. Our network security has been breached several times over the last few days. Now, it looks like it may have been going on longer than that, but whoever did this really knew what they were doing. They covered the tracks really well. I just happened to notice some log anomalies, or it would still be going on. The intrusion came on an encrypted carrier signal from the Delta complex. It piggybacked the virus on one of the supercomputer requests and it peeled itself from the data stream once it was inside our firewall. Someone on the inside there has to be responsible. Unfortunately, due to security in that complex, I can only tell it came from within Delta. There's no way to identify which machine or even which lab it came from. Whoever was in our system had access to all personal data, including medical reports. My team will be monitoring the network closely in the next few days, looking for anything unusual. End of log. <laughs> 